Welcome back to Phoenix Wright. Passive aggressive attorney. Bullshit. <laughs> I'm also bullshit of all. Yes. No, I'm not. That's false advertising. The most now then. Well, defendant is on the Skype. Please take the stand. No. God damn it! Fuck you. <laughs> Miss Lana Sky, you are the chief prosecutor. I'm sure you're aware of what is required of you. But Mr. Edgeworth, you already know everything. You know all that I've done these past two years. Please provide the court testimony, Miss Skype. Remember, you're under oath. We want to hear the truth, the whole truth, not the bottom rule. Of course, the truth. <laughs> Lana, no matter what happens, I'll always be your sister, even if I'm in jail. Jailbird. Jailsters. Well then, your testimony, if you will. First, tell us about your relationship with Gant. Everything hinges on your testimony. You're the only chance we have to get Gant. <laughs> Gant of the Fabrication. Starring the Phoenix Hobby Ryan. Boys. I worked alongside Gant for years. There's no truth to this blackmail theory. I fabricated the evidence two years ago all by myself. When I found Prosecutor Marshall's body, I rearranged the crime scene. My only motivation was to get Dark convicted. It had nothing to do with Emma. Hmm... Are you sure about this testimony? Your Honor, I'm confessing to a capital offense. Of course I'm sure. But, Lana, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> If this is true, then that means Chief Grant has nothing to do with this. That's what I've been telling you from the beginning. Please, Mr. Wright, you've got to help her. She's sacrificing herself because of me. But what if she's telling the truth? Huh? You ever thought of that? She's not. I know my own sister. Stop reading my fucking mind. I can't read your mind. That's why I am here. <laughs> Whenever she speaks stiffly like that, she's hiding something inside. He's been speaking stiffly this entire- oh. Yeah. Yeah, she- she does that. Anyway, deep down, she's really screaming in agony. Yeah, well, this hiding is something no time to start second-guessing inside. Myself. Man, this is weird. The defense may now begin its cross-examination. Fuck yeah. I'm gonna end you. Just like I ended... Von Karma's career. <laughs> I'm gonna break you. Like a Kit Kat <laughs> Uh-huh. This is interesting. You say you did this all by yourself? Yes. Would you mind telling us what you found when you arrived at the crime scene? It seems I was the first person to discover the scene. The broken prosecutor award knife was stuck in the victim's body. What? <laughs> but Prosecutor Marshall died from an unfortunate accident. That's only a situation you dreamed was possible. The reality is it wasn't my sister who took the prosecutor's life. God, her hair grew on her face. Fantasize all her... <laughs> Fantasize all you want, Mr. Wright, but it'll never change this statement. You mean Prosecutor Marshall wound up being killed by Dark? Something like that. If that is so, what happened to the other murder weapon? Dark was carrying a switchblade knife. Oh, that was lying on the floor a little distance away. It was probably knocked away in the struggle. That's not how it went down, she's trying to cover up her lies with more lies. All just to protect me. God fucking damn it, Emma. Yeah. God fucking damn it, me. So when you found the scene like this, what did you do? After all, this is what everything boils down to. 
Yes. I broke off the tip of Dark's knife, planted it inside the wound, then moved the body. Uh... Press? You planted the tip of Dark's knife in the victim's wound?! Motherfucker, I will fucking end your <laughs> shit! <laughs> but why? Why would you do that? You of all people should know, Edgeworth. You've always had a good head on your shoulders. My head isn't that bad, but maybe I ought to ask for the sake of the others. Uh... Why did you move the body? When you showed up on the scene, where exactly was the victim's body? It was where you deduced it was, by Chief Gant's desk. But the body was found by your desk. Why did you move it there? The reason for that is simple. The chapter wouldn't explain this in more detail. Reason Miss Sky moved the body. The pieces of the jar that shattered during the events threatened my plan. How? Pieces of the jar, you mean? The blue badger. Yes, that wretched jar Mr. Wright showed us earlier. In order to show that Dark committed the crime, I felt it would be more expedient. What? Expedient? Ex expedient? Expedient? Ah, my name is Ralph. <laughs> 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 Fuck off. <laughs> expedient to move the body. So, when you first found the body, the jar was already. Of course, it had been shattered to pieces. If you looked at the crime scene, it would be clear right away what happened. Neil Marshall was dead and Dark was lying unconscious. In other words, the jar must have been broken during their struggle. I see. What's the matter, Emma? Apparently, the jar shattered at the time the crime was committed. But I have a feeling there is more to it than that. There must be a contradiction here somewhere. Anyway, I committed this fabrication completely alone. Oh, wait, shit. Looks like she's determined to protect you in the end. She insists she fabricated the evidence by herself. There's no way she could have done it alone. I gotta get Lana to talk more. If she's lying, then she's bound to slip up and make a contradiction. Right, it's gotta be the... The jaw. No, it's not on that statement, fuck. Uh... She, it may... She. Oh, God damn it! I'm about to get gavel shoved up my ass. Please, out! Uh, take that, bitch. Objection! Objection! Miss Guy, I understand how you feel. You committed that crime two years ago to protect your sister. You mean the forgery at the scene with Neil Mar- You know, the thing we've been talking about for five fucking years now? And if that truth were to be exposed now, the past two years of your life will have been useless. Even so, I am compelled to bring out to everyone's attention a significant contradiction within your testimony. A contradiction in my testimony? You testified, and I quote, The pieces of the jar that shattered during the events threatened my plan. That's right. Do you have a problem with this? It's a simple oversight, really. You see, a message was written on this jar with the victim's blood. Yes, the prosecutor must have written in his final moments. Exactly so. And this is where the contradiction lies. <laughs> in order for the victim to be able to write his message on the jar, it must not have yet been broken before he died. Ah. He couldn't have written him his name on a shattered jar, bitch! Yeah. Order, order. Your Honor, it would be appear 
More information is needed in regard to this jar and its bloody message. You may be missing something critical here. Something critical? Chief Prosecutor, it seems you're as in the dark as we are, about the truth towards which we're headed. What? Just tell us exactly what you saw. We'll piece together the information to arrive at the truth like we did with that jar. Even though I well, wasn't- Well, do it just now, continue your testimony, don't fucking interrupt me! <laughs> I'll stab you! <laughs> don't threaten me, your honor, please. I immediately noticed the blood traces on the jar. But it was dark in the room and I didn't have time to check it out. To be safe, I wiped away the blood. The fragments were large, so I'm sure I got them all. All I could think about was wiping them clean before they were discovered. I mean, you were the one who wiped away the message of blood. I wasn't chief prosecutor at the time. She didn't think Dark was the real murderer. That's why she tried to erase the real evidence. Very well, the defense may now begin to cross. But how could you see with the power out? It should have been pitch black in that office. A detective is always prepared, Mr. Wright. Even now I always carry a pocket light and a camera with me. Even I carry a, my bottle of emergency luminol wherever I go. I never miss anything. I got every last piece. Oh... Uh, that was bullshit. Because, how is there still so much fucking blood on the fucking jar, you little bitch? Huh? Huh? Miss Sky, I believe this jar conceals a truth even you were unaware of. What? We found the final piece of this jar in Chief Gant's safe. In the Chief's safe? But how? I knew it. She really didn't know. There's something even more disturbing about that final piece. There was... still blood on it. But the woman is just justified. That she gathered every last piece and wiped the blood off. Of them. Yes, which leaves us with only one explanation. On the night Prosecutor Marshall was murdered, you were not the first one to show up on the scene. Chief Gant got there before you! Holy tits! But, couldn't the defendant have simply missed a piece? Objection! I'm afraid that's unlikely. The pieces are too big for anyone to miss, let alone a nice detective. That may well be, but everyone makes mistakes. Even I once wasted an entire day listening to all your bullshit. Wait, what? Objection! Have you forgotten, Your Fucking Honor? Gross. When this witness arrived at the scene, the jar was already broken. Oh, that. Uh, right. There is no way a name Carry could on. have been written on a shattered jar. Another person discovered the seed prior to the witness. I hope you're not playing this person was Chief Gant at the time. He was looking for Dark downstairs. Besides, even if he was there first, why would he break the job? OBJECTION! The question is, if he did arrive there first, why did he hide that fact for two years? Well, Your Honor, can you answer us that? Um... Uh, uh, the judge uh, just had a breakdown. <laughs> I'm actually kind of sad he doesn't have, like, a proper one. Duh. Uh. I'm not the one on trial here, no. Uh. David Gant arrived at the crime scene prior to the witness. He proceeded to break the jar. 
and purposefully hid one of the broken pieces. Question. What is this action called? Fabrication. But why would Chief can't do that? In light of what happened afterwards, isn't it clear? What happened afterwards? Discovering the scene, Lana Sky believed her sister Emma killed the victim. Determined to help her sister, she sought Gant's aid. Lending her his aid, Gant helped her create evidence that incriminated Dark, sparing Emma. And here is the reason. The reason why Miss Sky became the Chief's puppet. N no, I, I did it on my own. Please, sis, stop trying to protect the Chief. He's an asshole. I... I can't watch you suffer anymore, for my sake. No, you didn't. It wasn't you, Emma. You didn't kill anyone. Don't believe anything Mr. Wright says. Defense attorneys make up the most foul lies to defend their clients. Foul Fuck. lies? Imagine that coming from my own client. Mm, I guess you seem to... <laughs> Hi, my name is If. I'm trying to I don't know how to fucking read. <laughs> <laughs> Guess he still seem the type who likes to twist the truth. Son of a bitch. Playing favorites, Judge. Wait a minute. What if... We're still smack dab in the middle of Gant's trap? What? There's something wrong, Mr. Wright. Check the floorboards! There might be a bot! No, I'm kidding. Um... Lana... Maybe right after all. What do you mean, right? So, you do tell foul lies then, Mr. Not that. Miss Sky, please testify once more. But, if evidence was fabricated behind your back, then Emma's accidental killing of Prosecutor Marshall might also be a lie. But, but I do remember knocking over Mr. Marshall. Miss Guy, if you will. I... I can't. There's nothing to be afraid of anymore. This cross-examination may not change a thing. However, there is a possibility that it will, if you tell the truth. Very well. I'll testify about what I really saw. He's finally gonna tell the fucking truth. Oh my god, it's been 3,000 years. <laughs> Oh, God. And, all right, the witness may testify once more for the final time. Thank God it's the final time. Sorry when God, I arrived, bullshit that this isn't the final time. I okay. found Mr. Marshall's body impaled on that suit of armor sword. Emma and Dark were lying unconscious on the floor nearby. When I saw what had happened, I thought she did it. That's why I erased all the evidence that linked her to the murder. <laughs> I had Chief Gamp help me remove the body from the sword and carry it. But if all really was a fabrication, Emma might be innocent. Unbelievable. Body was impaled on the armors. You were the only one who saw that, if only you had proof. Actually, I do have proof. I gave it to Mr. Wright just this morning. Wait, what? To me? It's a picture I took of the crime scene as I encountered... as I encountered it. I thought it might be needed. But I don't remember receiving a picture! Lana must have known! See, Mr. Wright? She really does have faith in you! Don't tell lies, Emma. What? The fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Very well, Mr. Ray, please present this picture. I don't yeah, remember folks. receiving any pictures from Lana. Lana said she gave it to you this morning, right? I seem to remember getting something from her then. Let's check that evidence again. There must be a picture in there somewhere. Do, 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 do. 
I mean, it's a book. What am I supposed to do? Yeah. It's a book? What is this? Ooh! <laughs> Hey, there's a picture here. That's pretty fucking gruesome. Yeah. Oh. Oh my. This is um this is the actual crime scene. No other detective saw the crime scene like this. That's because I contacted Criminal Affairs only after I rearranged the scene. Gasp. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why I find that funny. Mr. Wright! That piece cut out from the vest. Could that be? Shh, 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 shh. What's this? It will. <laughs> it will? It's a handprint. That cloth. It has fingerprints on it. Whoever fingerprints those are must be the real murderer who is me. <laughs> what? But those fingerprints. They're yours, Emma. Why are your lips turning all purple? That's a weird <laughs> trick. Uh, I, I, I had a very tasty brain liquor this morning. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're fucking weird. Anyway, let's get on with the cross examination. So long as you tell the truth, we should be able to flush out the real murderer. Very well, defensive now begins cause examination. Okay, no one gives a shit. What? What? Ah, oh, I didn't even get to stop. Stop, bitches! I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Had a nice lunch. It's good. Some cream cheese. <laughs> Edgeworth, you're fired. <laughs> Judge, no. you're also fired. Anyway, come on now, OG. This is the poorest excuse for a trial I've ever seen, and I wasn't even here. You can't. What? Now you want to make me out as the bad guy, too? <laughs> if so, I'd like to put in a word or two in my defense. Objection! I'm afraid it's too late for that. What? You already declined testimony. That means you forfeited your right to make statements of any sort. Hmm. This must be the risk that the judge was talking about. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the sound of the noose tightening around your own neck. My nipples. <laughs> 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 ah, so what? You think I'm worried? My neck is stronger than steel! Sorry to disappoint you. But I don't need to make any statements. What do you mean? The evidence will do all the talking for me. Even if I can't testify, I can still present evidence. Iffy. Right. Yeah, that's true. Wait, you mean... Is there some conclusive evidence? No, but someone does. And I'm gonna fucking call him out of that. Iffy. Someone? Who is this someone to speak of? So then, what's your excuse, Righto? You're just gonna say that, you know, you're just gonna call out that thing that I cut out of that vest? <laughs> I've been keeping quiet about it. You do have something to show us, right? Right? Something that proves who knocked over Neil Marshall, causing his death. Blah blah blah, Amber Sky. Conclusive evidence that leaves no room for doubt. Is this true, Mr. Wright? God, I am annoying. If I show that piece of evidence now, Emma's sure to be made out as the murderer. Uh, 
Mr. Wright, do we have any more evidence presented now? And if you're trying to conceal anything, you will be the one appearing before the Board of Inquiries. What do I do now? I better think this through carefully. I can't afford to make the wrong decision. Should I present that piece of evidence? The one that shows who really killed Prosecutor Marshall. Hmm. Fuck off! I ain't showing that shit! Your Honor, I don't have any evidence I can present at this point in time. What? You lie! <laughs> Chief Kent? You're a fucking liar! You opened my safe, I know what you- I know you took what was inside. The conclusive evidence! I... don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Mr. Wright, why didn't you show them? Just we found it together! Up. I'm an idiot! Oh, I see. It's, it's because you know the truth, don't you? You know who those fingerprints are. That's why you weren't presented? Yes, that's right. What are you talking about, Chief Gant? Can't you figure it out? Take a look. Good look at this picture. Jesus Christ, that's See? Beautiful. Look at the victim's vest. Notice something odd about the chest area? There's no cowboy hat. Looks like part of it's been cut off for some reason. You mean you had this in your safe? Wait, I just realized... Okay, no spoilers. Well, it's not a spoiler, but I think I just figured out something. Uh, what... What means you... What? That does not sound... What means you, the chief of police? That means you, the chief of police. Shut up. 22, I've never learned how to read. Sealing evidence? This is going to be the biggest scandal in the history of the police department. Ooh, I love scandal. Ooh. Impressive. To be honest, I didn't think you had the goal, Righto. Well... I can't just let you pin me up as the murderer. I'll tell you what really happened. Ah, <sighs> what you mean? Man, you really you admit to it? You really fucking me over this day. I was gonna have a nice fucking lunch. Turn general's gonna give me a BJ. Be great. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Look, man, it's 3 a.m. I'm tired. It's fine. Let's just get through this. I was the first person to arrive at the crime scene that day. It then occurred to me that I could use the situation to control Lana. So you really were manipulating her. Also, what's a PJ? You don't need it now. I knew. <laughs> I knew Lana. <laughs> goddamn. I knew Lana if I made it look like the blame play with her sister. Then that's when she saw the seed, she would ask for my aid. So you assisted Miss Sky? I told her to arrange all the evidence. I had her plant the knife tip in the victim's body and move the body across the room. And I ended up using that evidence to get Joe Dark convicted. When we rearranged the crime scene, I had two pieces of evidence. I did this before Lana arrived at the scene. Two pieces of evidence? You mean those items in your safe? But why? For insurance, of course. Insurance? Yes. I was sure my plan would work, but it's always best to be prepared for the worst. I wasn't about to let anyone blame me for a murder that girl committed. You mean you were calculating that for a hair off the evidence? Who do you think? Take me for a fool? I didn't make police chief by dumb luck. 
see this jar fragment? Emma. I hit the most legible part of Emma's name. I didn't expect Lana to go and wipe the blood all off. Objection! But if you fabricated all the evidence, what's to say you didn't fabricate the message on the jar too? Oh, oh. some people just don't know when to quit, do they? That's why I kept one more item for insurance. You mean that piece of cloth? <laughs> Come on, Raito, cough it up already. I know you have it. What are you waiting for, Mr. Wright? So you admit to it then, Chief Gant, that you were hiding the cloth you cut off the victim's vest in your safe. <laughs> yes, I admit it. I didn't want to have to do it, but that big chief and all. Oh, Jesus Christ. But it's a lot better than being betrayed as a murderer. Uh, Mr. Wright, do you have, what do you have to say for yourself? Just a moment ago, you say you didn't have any evidence you could present. Foolish move, Righto! You should have shown it before it was too late. It's been a long battle, but the moment of truth has finally arrived. As long as I don't mess up here, victory is mine. We're gonna do, bitch! Ah. I'm not sure, because I don't think I can show the evidence. Uh... Fine. Your Honor, I do have evidence to present now. Alright, then let's see this conclusive evidence. Let me verify this once more. On the day of the crime, you personally cut out this piece of the victim's vest. Oh yes? At last you finally brought it out into the open. That's a handprint on- there's a handprint on this piece of cloth. Your Honor, the prosecution requests that it immediately be sent to the lab for analysis. This handprint on the leather. There must have been a strong impact for it left for it to be left so clearly. You mean It could not have been forged. It must be authentic or conclusive evidence. Oh, okay, so that rolled material. Oh, oh, oh. You're as slow on the uptake as that ever worthy. What? Think about it. Raito had all this time to present this evidence. Yet he was reluctant to do so. Now, why would that be? Oh, you mean you already know? You know whose fingerprints are on that. Mr. Wright, do you, do you really know? Whoever the fingerprint belongs to must be the real murderer. I fucked up. Yeah. Whose fingerprints are they? Very well. I'll tell you. Oh, okay. No, we're fine. It should be okay now. Everything's proceeding as predicted. The person whom these fingerprints belong to are... Yeah, fuck it, whatever. You, s you saved from... Wait, okay. You did save over the choice slot, which is kind of awkward. Emma? Emma Sky? What? Never mind! The fuck, dude? I'm sorry, Emma. But... No, the fuck, dude? Why didn't you tell me? Oh, oh, oh! 
I'm Santa Claus now. You're, yes! You're really <laughs> something, right -o. You... You knew this girl did it all along! And you still tried to pin the murder on me? <laughs> it's true, tragic, but true. This girl really did shove Buscar Marcher to his death. How could you? You, you monster! The sky. You knew whose fingerprints those were all along, yet you. You act like she really didn't. Miss Sky, it's not over yet. What? I said this trial isn't over yet. Ah, but I'm afraid it is over, boy. Not only this trial, but, you know, your career. Yeah, see? I'm a fucking psychic. You purposely concealed this conclusive evidence. That, my friend, is a serious offense. I'm looking forward to pressing charges after the defendant is convicted. I'll have your badge, boy. What's the matter? Can't guard your tongue? Aren't you going to tell us how it feels? How it feels to be the one who single-handedly turned a poor little girl into a murderer? Before I do that, there's just one little thing I have to clear up. Oh, and what's that? Who really killed Prosecutor Neil Marshall? <laughs> Chief Gant, you are absolutely right. This piece of cloth proves who the real murderer is. Who killed Neil Marshall, you ask? It was Emma Sky, wasn't it? I fucking knew it! The girl has the eyes of the devil. I'm afraid <laughs> that's not possible. You see, this piece of cloth contains a critical contradiction. What? A contradiction? What is this fool babbling about? I'm talking about a contradiction, one that proves who the real killer is. Rada, rada. Mr. Wright, this piece of cloth. Could it possibly contradict? Chief Gad, your tyrannical reign ends here. Behold, the piece of evidence that contradicts this cloth. <laughs> Behold! Not that one. What do you see? And what exactly is this supposed to be? This is the picture Miss Sky took. Take a good look at it. See where the piece of his vest was cut out? There's still fucking blood yes, on it. Yes, his shirt is showing underneath. Don't to cut out all of the blood on his vest, though. Exactly my point. His chest is soaked with blood. That's only natural. His lungs, no doubt, were punctured. Blood poured out over his mouth. Gross. Oh, but that piece of cloth. Wait, there's no blood on it. Well, that's my dear was. Since Emma Sky's fingerprints are on this cloth, there is no doubt that she shoved the prosecutor aside. However, Mr. Marshall was not impaled on the sword! No! This is... this is nonsense! Now then, Chief Gad, listen to my corner theme and let me ask you something! Prosecutor Marshall was not impaled when he was shoved aside. He most likely hit his head on the ground and was knocked out. If so, then tell me, who could it have been? Who could have arrived at the scene before Miss Sky? Picked up the unconscious prosecutor and impaled him on the armor sword! <laughs> then, to make it look like Emma was responsible for the prosecutor's death, said person proceeded to write her name on the jar with the victim's blood. Then he broke the jar on purpose to leave behind a clue, and make Lana believe her sister did it. Remember what you admitted only moments ago? That you personally cut out this bloodless piece of, victim of the victim's vest? Ironic, isn't it? Through the very act of creating insurance, you prove that you are the actual murderer. 
No! <laughs> Fucking stupid. It's finished. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, heh. Man, look at this. <laughs> ah! Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, ho! That was close, right? Oh, you almost had me? Just pay attention, to, pay no attention to my actual sweating face. Sorry, but you'll have to do better than that. I refute all your allegations. Give yeah, me your refute. Your allegations. Oh yeah, you see that 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 piece of cloth this is illegal evidence. He's right, you know. <laughs> He's right, you know. Order, order, what nonsense! Phoenix, right? Illegal evidence can cannot be used to convict a suspect. Re remember, OG? Remember? Earlier, old writer here concealed that piece of cloth. So then, what's your excuse, Righto? See this flashback that I'm having with myself? You do have some conclusive evidence, don't you? Your Honor, I don't have any evidence I can present at this point in time. Oh, that's true. I mean, it's still refused to present evidence. At, at that moment, that, that piece of evidence seems to be legal evidence. But, but that's not fair! Oh, 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 oh. Did, did you actually think you could best me in court? Looks like the last life's on you, Sonny. Red. Red, oh, red. The famous Gant's claim is legally correct. Well, Mr. H. Wolf? True, illegal evidence cannot be used to convict a person. Assuming, of course, that the evidence is indeed illegal. Well... Mm, well, Mr. Wright. It seems, at last, the time for me to reveal my plan has finally arrived. Mr. Wright, do you admit to it? Being purposely and legally concealed that piece of cloth? I didn't. Certainly, I refuse to present evidence at one point. Ah, so the evidence is illegal. Objection! No, it isn't, Mr. Gant. Huh? It's not that I didn't present evidence then, it's that I couldn't. Do you mean you couldn't? And there are certain procedures involved when presenting evidence. No, OG, don't listen to his lies! He's nothing but a coward, you can't let him Objection! Do shit. There is only one issue left to be resolved in this trial. Is this evidence legal or not? Yeah, well, let's just settle this once and for all. You know, you refuse to present evidence. can prove all your conduct was not in violation of the law, then so do so. I present to you, Evidence Law! This kid's book. <laughs> this is my proof, Your Honor. Evidence Law. What? What's this? I've never heard of the law before. I've done my homework too, Chief. Indeed, Emma Sky's fingerprints were on this piece of cloth. However, at that point in time, this was merely a piece of cloth. Nothing more. What? You see, it's written right here in this book. The second rule of evidence law. Hmm? They rule... wrote a book with two rules? Rule number one. No evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. I found this piece of evidence myself, inside your safe. It goes without saying, I did not have approval from the police department. Rule number two, unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case in trial. And here is the crux of the matter. You see, at the time that it was at the time it was impossible for me to improve the relevance between the Kloss and the FL9 incident. What? What kind of nonsense is this? 
You want a relevancy? You just take one look at this picture and... Objection! <clears throat> Sorry, but can you recall... When was that picture presented? That was shown only a few moments ago. Oh god, it feels like years. <laughs> no, no! He's right. At the beginning of today's trial, that piece of cloth was still meaningless. The person who gave it value as evidence was you, Damon Gant. <laughs> you yourself confessed to a certain truth. Let me verify this once more. On the day of the crime, you personally cut out this piece of the victim's vest. Oh, yes! <laughs> no! It was then that you approved this cloth. As conclusive evidence... Yes, you, the chief of police, personally approved this cloth. The only person who could have cut this from the victim's vest is the one who stood before Prosecutor Marshall in his final moments. In other words, the real murderer. And there's only one person who that could be. Damon Gant! The killer was you! No! Hmm. The killer is you. Oh, 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 fuck. Oh, we're going through the whole alphabet. Oh, 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 that was fun. Man, I knew I should have gotten rid of him. That good-for-nothing scum cowboy Jesse McCree, for two years he's been snooping around the department trying to get something on me? Crimes being committed every day, yet he insisted on hounding me! Well, your crime wasn't exactly petty. He wanted to reinvestigate the case. He recruited Angel Star, then convinced Bruce Goodman. Detective Goodman. Yes? That's right? Why did he. Why, why was there a. That's Marshall. No, why was the there gunshot a gunshot? No. If the evidence is transferred, I've become stro. No, way. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna do the other cowboy voice I had. Um. You <laughs> have to transfer all the other tents and find out the truth. <laughs> Please, you gotta help me! That took a. Only in Gant's mind does he sound like this. <laughs> Goodman turned him down, and as he ought to. Still, Jake Marshall didn't know when to quit. He stole Goodman's ID card and tried to take the evidence. Goodman came to me that day. He wanted to file a lost item report and was like, "Man, I lost my ID card. What the fuck?" <laughs> and I went to him with to I went with him to the evidence room. Then all of a sudden he had to speak out. Da -da 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 -da. What are you talking about, Goodman? We're a flashback. Can you please reopen the investigation, Chief? We can't transfer the evidence out. There are too many questions left unanswered. Fucking die! He told me to open up the evidence room and take it out. It's not too late. I'll hand this to Marshall. Fucking no you won't. To be honest, I was a little panicked too. I had a bad feeling about it, but never knew it would come to this. That's when I saw it. The accursed knife. Pow! Right at the kisser. <laughs> I couldn't just pull it out. You would only increase the amount of blood and you couldn't finish what you started. Even so, the blood was just, just pouring out like a fountain. I didn't know who might stumble in, so I was wiping it up. I was worried so much about the floor, I didn't realize my mistake. Detective Gumshoes. Bloody handprint. I used to be known as the Crime Computer. But everyone has to start somewhere, I guess. I was too nervous. I had no business doing any crime, just solving it, but, you know, I did it anyway. Then you put the body in my car. I'm sorry, we couldn't think of any other way to move the body. We broke the trunk, but what's the big deal? 
You pulled down a lot more than us detectives. Girl. What, what does this Fucking have to girl. do with anything? You're horrible. How could you get Miss Sky involved in all of this? Well, she had as much to lose as I did if the truth came out. So you took the evidence from Detective Goodman's locker. I feel bad for having to do it. You know I had to do it to him. <coughs> Sorry, I was allergic Shit. to that fucking joke. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. <coughs> I couldn't just sit around and pick and choose what to take. Well, you left the jar fragment in gloves. Yeah, well, that was probably a mistake. Looks like I was bit rough being an investigator of crimes than a committer. <laughs> they all did their best to get it my way. I've got to hand it to them. They do their jobs well, much to my dismay. And also... relishment. Fake evidence doesn't hold up very well upon close examination. You must have known that. Tell me, Worthy. What are you going to do? What are you doing in court? Me? Yeah, you're fucking fired. You despise criminals. I can feel it. You and me. We're not so civil. We're not so different, you and I. <laughs> <laughs> One day you'll understand. If you want to take them on alone, you'll have to figure out what's needed. Well, looks like it's time to say goodbye. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Phase help. Oh, Oji! What? what? Fell asleep. Looks like we'll have to cancel that lunch date. Sorry, old friend. I'm going to jail. I'm gonna miss him. He was the only man I ever loved. So too, damn it, cat. <laughs> you used to be long ago. Well, once a fine investigator and example to others on the. F <laughs> 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 I'm sorry to learn that you're no longer that person. Oh, Jesus Christ. Those days are gone now, Oji. Thanks for all the memories, though. And the fish. Don't worry, you'll be fine. <laughs> now you have Raito here. He seems pretty good, despite his fucking chicken head. And You've got Worthy, who... You, you know, I, I stand by that Itachi comment from earlier. With these two around, you can't go wrong. Oh shit, I just realized, Phoenix right- Ah, his, his hair's su- You've got Sasuke and Itachi on your team, it's fucking great! <laughs> you see, if I listen carefully, I can hear it right now. Sure and God! No, okay. Yes, Avatarasu! The sound of a new beginning. This is the first game in a series of like eight. There are two things I want you to understand. Yes? First, your sister never hurt anyone. Second, Damon get betrayed you from the beginning. You see, Miss Sky, you no longer have any reason to keep silent. You're right. When this trial is over, I'll tell everything. All that I've done these past two years, from the time I had Gant help me forge evidence up until today. So... It seems all the questions raised up in this trial have been answered. I'm sorry, Miss Guy. I couldn't get you out of all your trouble. My, my, what high standards you have for a rookie. Huh? I can see why Mia thought so highly of you. Who knows? A few years from now, you just might make it to the top. I owe you my thanks, Mr. Wright. <laughs> Miss Guy. And to you too, Mr. Edgeworth. Fuck you. <laughs> You've suffered every bit as much as I have over these past few days. Believe me, I know how much of an ordeal it's been for you. Hm. It was nothing. Fucking sooner. Liar. 
I was worried the pressure might break you. And yet, you rose above it all and guided Mr. Wright to victory. You've done well, Mr. Edgeworth. D stop it! I only did my job. B Barker! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Light of this case... Seems a good self-examining is in order for all of us. This guy. Yes, Your Honor? You're innocent of murder, however. Lists, long list of crimes. The chief blackmailed you, the fact is you still act as a little A trial will be scheduled for these crimes at a later date. Yes, I understand, Your Honor. There's something amusing about all of this. Why are you smiling? Because the it's sentence creepy. is much smaller, especially if they know that she's been blackmailed, they might just wave it. Yeah. It's been a long time, Your Honor. A long time since I felt free of these heavy chains. The judge is just like, what is a smile? <laughs> <laughs> my, name is, I'm, my name is the judge, I'm 69 and I never learned how to smile. Name is. Uh, well, this trial has gone on for too long already. Jesus Christ, it hasn't it? Got in charge of the murder. This court finds the defendant Ms. Lana Sky. Totes not guilty. <laughs> Fucking finally. I've not seen confetti in so this long. All the court is adjourned. I feel like I see the light. Oh fuck, there's more? Oh yeah, there's a fucking epilogue. At long last, it's finally over. Ah shit, Emma. Why the long face? I'm sorry your sister didn't get completely off the hook. Well, at least she wasn't convicted for a murder she didn't commit. No, that's, that's not it. Man, fucking all this happy music, Jesus Christ. Just now, after the trial ended, I can see why me and Faye thought so. I just... This was five seconds ago. And, and also, that wasn't the line. <laughs> she just said Mia before. She didn't say Mia Faye. <laughs> Emma has memory problems. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I did my best too. But Lana didn't say a single word to me. And she's a fucking bitch. <laughs> if it... I hope I'm not interrupting anything, pal. Oh. Guess I am. Guess I'll just leave. I'll come back later. <laughs> this is like the third or fourth time ah. you've done this, like, ah. every, like, fucking just this fucking case. For fuck's sake, Detective Gumshoe, what is it? Doing this on purpose, aren't you? Making it a detective run all around. Well, I'm not reading this right. I've read the two times already. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, fuck you. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> hey, lighten up, pal. I'm only kidding. Oh, are you here because of my sister again? At this time. I came today because of you, pal. Me? Yeah, you're under arrest for being. <laughs> That's right, I thought you'd like to see someone. <laughs> David Get! She is not supposed to be out of the detention center. Lana! Yeah, and Gumshoes isn't a fucking detective anymore, so uh, should, should you be doing this at all? She's still under arrest, you know. Well, I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> I know, you two guards in the back, but not tell either. <laughs> Emma, I owe you an apology. It's okay, sis. Don't don't worry about it. That I don't even know what the word means. Two years ago. Huh? Was the first time in my life I ever panicked. It was all I could do to keep myself from screaming. All I could think about was keeping you from getting wrapped up in that mess. 
Hi, I'm Lana Sky. I'm 27 years old, and I never learned how to panic. <laughs> <laughs> Can we, like, carry this up? Because I gotta actually leave. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sis! I asked Gant to help me cover up the truth. I thought I was doing it for your sake. But now, I realize I was wrong. Gasp! I changed after that day. Clean the clothes. I had to. It was the only way I could make it through the past two years. I knew how much I was hurting you by distancing myself. But I couldn't bring myself to tell you what I did. I... I was scared. Scared that you'd look at me with those eyes of yours. I was scared of how you'd react if you knew. But sis, you are you are only doing it for me. No. Huh? I turned my back on you that day. In hiding what I believed to be the truth, I was deceiving you. The fuck? Sis, come the fuck on. I'm such a fool, and it took me all this time to realize it. Emma, I'm so sorry. But, but sis, you don't have to apologize. I'm happy now. You're happy? Yes, I'm Emma Sky, and I'm 16 years old, and first time in my life I've learned how to be happy. That's kind of sad. You know, sis, I always knew that one day you'd come back. And now you have. Bitchin'. Oh, Emma. Emma! Aww. That's adorable. Ow. I hope they both die. No one can change the past. The only thing we can do is strive to make up for our mistakes. Why must we wake up for our mistakes, you ask? Because in so doing, we can find the way back to our path. And once we found our path, we can move on from our past mistakes toward a brighter future. At least that's what I felt looking at those two sisters make up. No, let us make out. <laughs> Fuck this, I got a time machine. Mr. Wright, Mr. Gumshoe. M me? Thank you both for all that you've done. I'm sure we'll meet again someday. Isn't that right, <clears throat> Edgeware? Edgeware? Stop just hiding like, and come over here. He's just been, like, hiding behind the pillar. <laughs> <laughs> Where was he hiding? <laughs> I just I came to so say... Fun. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. You've been defeated again! Right, well, I'll be going now. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, Peace. I hope you don't blame yourself for what happened. <laughs> we were the ones who acted corruptly, not you. It's too late for me. Oh, for fuck's sake! No matter what anyone may say, I realize today I can't change my own mistakes. Mr. Edgeworth. Not only that, but I don't even trust myself anymore. Chief Gant was right. You despise criminals, I can feel it, blah blah blah, flashback, you would also different you and I speech. Get out of my flashbacks, you're a horrific person. Fuck you. <laughs> One day you blah 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 figure it out, blah blah blah. I do despise criminals. I plan to dedicate my entire life to fighting them. But in order to fight crime alone, one needs a weapon. It's scary. But I've been a thinking knife. the same thing for the, quite some time now. But Edgeworth, who knows? Given enough time, I might have even try to pull something like Chief Gant did. That thought terrifies me. That's why I can't continue on as a prosecutor. Edgeworth, don't you understand? Damon Gant and your mentor, Manfred von Karma, were both the best of the best when it came to fighting crime. But they both made the same mistake. You said in order to fight crime alone, one needs a weapon. That may be right. But think back to today's trial. You weren't alone. But you were working together with Mr. Wright. And because of that partnership, you were able to present evidence that otherwise would have gone undiscovered. Isn't that right, Mr. Wright? 
Uh, uh, what? 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 Oh, that, that, yeah, what is this? A pop quiz? Come on, Mr. Wright. Show him what Lana's talking about. Evidence uh, that neither Edgeworth nor I would have been able to find on our own. Uh, this one. That's the picture I drew. Our counterattack began with this. You had one half of the evidence list, and I had the other. Apart, we wouldn't have been able to completely restore Emmer's picture. That didn't just happen by chance, Edgeworth. It's time for me to go. Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> if you'll excuse me. There are still some loose ends that need wrapping up. Take care, Chief Prosecutor. And goodbye. Edgeworth, what will you do now? Well, whatever you do, just remember. What happened in this trial can either make or break you as a prosecutor. In the end, it's up to you. I know. It seems I owe you my thanks too, right? But what I face now is my problem. Edgeworth. Just lean towards the Miles Edgeworth game. I'll be waiting for you in court. Farewell. Lover. Goodbye forever. I'd better be getting back too. Ah, <laughs> oh, fucking Jesus. <clears throat> okay, I'll come visit you. It seems we both still have a lot to learn. Here, this is a little something oh, for, for you. Oh, fuck's sake! <laughs> Scientific investigation for dummies! It's the first book I ever bought. Study it well. Thanks, sis. Wow, it's like... Fuck, it's like 20 years fish. old. Fucking wow. Are we done here? And so yeah. another case came to a close. As for the sisters, I have faith. Oh my god. Faith that their lives have only just begun. And as for me, I think it's time I started on a new journey of my own. Journey to rediscover myself. Well, I can't believe that's the picture they go for Larry, huh? <laughs> well, Fucking... don't get tricking off just yet. Ah, that, what is a detective? <sighs> it's just a little matter to be resolved about the chief prosecutor. See, she isn't supposed to be out of jail like this. But... I uh, thought you said it was okay. Yeah, well, it may be okay with me, but the folks at the prison are a different story. Huh? Basically, I had to bribe a guard to order in order to sneak her out for 30 minutes. Believe me, it wasn't cheap either. Uh, huh? Way to go, detective! I didn't know you had a wild side. Yeah, well, <laughs> you see, it's right here's the one who will be fully footing the bill. Fucking hell! Huh? 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 Well, you think I can afford that with my silver? You gotta be kidding me, pal! Huh? 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 Thanks, Mr. Wright. You're the best. Maybe you can get Gant to loan you fifty dollars. I suddenly feel like I want to scream. Since we're all here, why don't we all go together? Yeah, that's a great idea. <clears throat> Come on, guys, let's go. Ooh, you could object to this. I can't actually do it though. Uh, oh, that's fine. Anyway. The button you used for pressing the like. Blowing thing should work for this. Uh, yeah. Objection! I did it. It's fine. <laughs> and I'm, I'm leaving. Yep. It's over, guys. We'll see you guys later. <laughs> this is the end of Phoenix Wright, passive aggressive attorney. We'll see you around. Just, just let the credits roll. Just let them roll. Alright, I'm leaving. 
Goodbye. I actually need to go. Try to just kiss. Bye. Bye bye. Goodbye. There's been more of that, huh? No more, um.